I'd like to yep. welcome to the show Jefta Bresser, the youth technical director at PSV, PSV Eindhoven, uh, one of the finest clubs in Holland. PSV is known for its education of youth soccer players, known both in Holland and the world over. Welcome, Jefta. Thank you. All right, nice, nice to, to see you. you. Jefta, you're coming to Los Angeles next week. Why are you coming? Uh, first of all, I'm coming to work with uh, t uh, the talented youth players in uh, in LA, of course, and I like to learn more about uh, youth players. And uh, I also hope that I can uh, give something uh, from the PSV vision, the way of working with youth players to the to youth players in LA. Okay. Are you also coming to scout potential players for your own clubs? Um, I'm not coming for scouting uh, potential players, but of course, when I see a good player, I will write down his name and give it to our scouts for in our division international scouting. But it's not the main goal. Okay. Yefta, you've been in the United States many times over the last four or five years. You've trained players in Northern California and Southern California and other places in the country. Compared to how PSV trains its soccer players, what is different about American youth soccer and about how we train our youth players? Uh, at first, uh, we uh, our philosophy is that we make sure that the, the players master the ball completely. If you have complete uh, control over the ball, 100% ball control, then you can play a better game. And if you play the game better, you have more chances of winning the game. So the first thing is 100% ball mastering and um, uh, technical skills is uh, the main part of our training sessions with the younger youth. Okay. From your perspective then, what, what is the United States getting right about its development of players and what is the United States not doing right with regards to the development of soccer players? It's, 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 it's not a question of right and wrong, but it's, it's more a difference. We, we, we approach uh, things in, in, in our youth uh, vision, it's about development. If you make sure your kids becoming better players, then they will win games. And it's the other way around, which is what I see in the U.S. It's about winning the game already at, at young age, on the 9, on the 10. It's about winning the game. So what our coach is doing, putting the biggest, the strongest kids in the field, because with the biggest and the strongest players, they have the best chance to win the game. But it's not about the players then. It's about the game to win. And in the long term, you have to have good players to win the games in the first team, in the national team, because that's what youth, youth development is about. Well, we're, we, we, have, we have 16 million people in Los Angeles. You have 16 million people in the Netherlands. Yeah. We have 17 million people playing football, soccer in this country, but we haven't produced great players yet. Uh, we have several very good players, there's no question about that, but why does Holland, a country of 16 million people, con continuously produce great soccer players while the U.S. With a, pop with a population of 250, 350 million, what is it that we can't do to produce a truly great soccer player? It's not about what you, you can do, of course you can do it, but it's, uh, it's about development also of, your, uh, of the sports in general in the U.S. and to make sure you uh, have a good uh, youth program. But it's all about the program in Holland, it's all about developing youth, it's, it's all about structure and it's about uh, yeah, mainly about how you practice with the kids to uh, make the uh, good players, to make good players, to develop good players. Because, yeah, big difference, we have only one million playing uh, people in, uh, in Holland. Compared to the U.S., it's nothing. But we have several Champions League level players. Compared to the U uh, U.S., we have a lot more. Well, then, what would, what would be the first change you would make with regards to how the United States develops its young players? If you had just one thing to do, what would you change from your observations? Um, I, I try to, to change the vision on short term and long term. Short term it's only about winning the game and I want a long term vision, development of youth. They don't, uh, they don't need to win the game on the 9, but they have to win the game on the 19 and make the step to the highest level in, uh, in US soccer, in uh, international soccer, uh, to, be a champ to become a Champions League player. So if you do not play, uh, win the game on a nine, it's not important. It's about becoming a better player. So 
that vision will be my main goal if I would change anything in, in the US because the sports mentality is great in the US. Well, that leads me to my next question, which is, uh, this is something I've heard. Uh, all, all Amer Many American players are fit, athletic, well-organized, uh, and have a good mentality. Can you comment on that and then compare that with a European player uh, of the same age or the same ilk? What I can say in, in general, the U.S. Uh, sports mentality is number one worldwide because they're and most of the sports are number one in the U.S. It's about a good mentality, hard working. Uh, why are you not yet there with, with, with soccer? That has all to do with the youth program. It's a more complex game than all the other games in, in tactics and in techniques because it's, a, it's an eye-foot coordination. And to have a good level, you have to make sure that you um, uh, control the ball, just as, just as mentioned before, control the ball 100%. So the start is has to be different than it is now in the US. So in, in general, the mentality, the physics are top, but the, in the younger youth, the, the base is not right. Okay, good, thank you. You once told me that uh, this was a great phrase you, you, you shared with me once. You told me once that players win and coaches develop. Could you expand on this a little bit? Um, yeah, of course. It's, it's, it's uh, mentioned in, in, in a youth coach uh, way of thinking. If you work with youth, uh, it's about development of the players. When you work in a club, club as PSV, it's about bringing that player to the first team so they don't have to buy it from another club or from another country. So we want to have the best players in our first team. So it's not important if they win the game on the nine again, but it's important that every player making are making steps forward to become a player for our first team and then can make the difference in winning games. Because in our first team, it's about winning. It's about uh, becoming a top club in the Champions League and in the National League and whatever. But you need players who can uh, perform on that level. So development is more important than become a national champion with the under-13s. Right, you know, and, and we all want to win. All players and all coaches want to win. All the coaches, all, all the players. I never ever met a player who don't, don't want to win the game on a Saturday when he's going to, to a club to play. He always wants to win the game. Of course, a coach is also uh, willing, uh, willing to win the game. He, he wants to win, of course. That's normal. But your, your action, your uh, decisions you make has to be made on development of the players. And at the end, you will win the games, of course, because your players are becoming better and better and better. Right. So that's why coaches develop. If you make sure they develop your players, you will win the games at the end. And let the players do the winning. Yes. Yeah, that's great. Final question, you have to. Does the USA have a culture of soccer? And if we don't, do we need one in order to develop our players at the highest level? Um, that's a difficult question. I don't uh, think that you... It's just a relative young sport still in the U.S., it's not from uh, all the way back you are playing soccer. And now it's becoming a huge, huge sport in, uh, in the U.S. So it, it takes time to develop your own culture. And um, for sure, because of your sports mentality, uh, I'm 100% positive at one point you will be uh, also huge in, in soccer, like uh, you are in uh, basketball and, and baseball and uh, American, American football. So um, the culture is not necessary, but it develops just you keep on playing the game and you start to make your own youth academies uh, all around the country. Well, that's maybe something we can talk about the next time you and I speak together. Um, Jefta Bresser, Youth Technical Director at PSV, we want to thank you for uh, joining the final third in our uh, internet broadcast, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you, Jefta, very much. I'm looking forward to seeing you also. Thank you very much. All right. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.